Hello, this is John Lehman, a software engineer at Unidata, and welcome to another MetPy Monday. This week, we're going to take our SKU T, where we left it last week, and do our final set of additions to it here. I want to calculate the parcel path for a surface parcel as it goes up through the atmosphere, and then I want to shade the areas of CAPE, which would be where the parcel is warmer than the environment and positively buoyant, and sin, which is where the parcel is cooler than the environment and would be negatively buoyant. These are relatively important parameters, especially in severe weather situations. So we can start out by calculating the path that the parcel is going to take, and we have a parcel profile function in our calculations module. So the parcel path from mpcalc.parcelprofile we need to give it the pressure levels that we would like the answer at, which the pressure levels that we have observations at are fine. And then the starting parcel. So I'm going to use the zeroth element of the temperature and the zeroth element of the dew point. So that would be the surface parcel. If we run that cell, it's already done. If we look at the contents of parcel path now, you see that we have an array of temperatures in Kelvin which is fine. Remember that we can handle all the unit conversions. So when we plot this, we know the plots in Celsius, and that's going to be just fine. So I'm going to skew.plot, just like I would any other line. Pressure, the parcel path, and I'm going to make it a black line. And I'm gonna show the figure again. All right, so we have a nice parcel path. We start out here at the surface. We go up very quickly and become saturated, follow our moist adiabat up. And then up here would be the equilibrium level. All right, well now let's shade the areas of cape and sin. You can sort of visually see that here the black line is above the red line, so that should all be cape, which is traditionally shaded red. And then up here the black line is below the red line, so it should be sin, which is traditionally shaded blue. So we can do that by calling skew.shade, and then just, again, tab. Shade area is the generic form where you can give it any particular area with a set of conditions that you would like. Uh, maybe you want to shade where the dew point is below or above a certain value. Maybe you want to shade where the dew point is above or below a certain value or something like that. That's there for you. But cape and sin are already built in with some nice defaults. So then you tell it the pressure the temperature, and my parcel path, so it knows what to shade. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and shade sin. That works the same way. And let's show the figure again. There you see, we now have our sounding with the parcel path, shaded cape, and shaded sin. Now you're prepared to go out and make some really nice publication quality skew T diagrams. There are many other capabilities in MetPy plots, including hodographs, which we'll get to in later MetPy Mondays, as they're often coupled with skew T's. As always, feel free to contact us if you have any questions or can't do what you need to do with MetPy. We'd also love to see what you're doing with MetPy. You can tweet us at MetPy and at Unidata. Thank you for joining me on this week's MetPy Monday.